शुगर बाबी शुगर बाबी Alright, so you got it. One knee, one kick. 
with a front kick and a point kick. Before we go to the combat stance, we will have the side kick to the right and also to the left. Yes, that is quite correct, but remember, your heels turn up and your toes turn down. Make sure you brace your abs to maintain your balance. So, pull, push, retract, and drop. Alright? Yes. So, you kick with the side of the shoe to make it sharp. Alright, you got it. This is the funny part of the trend. We've never done this combo before in the previous release. So, you go to the combat stance, two jacks, and one hand down. Yes. And then step and run out set up. Almost correct. So watch me. So you go one, two, drop down, hold, front leg, back leg, and set up. Let's try. One, two, drop, hold, step and kick. You miss the front leg. So you have to step, step and lift. Yes! Now let's try with the kick. Together. Right? Let's go. Three, two, one. One, two, drop, hold. One, two, roundhouse kick. That's your combo. Then you will switch on the other side. Okay, you need to practice to memorize this type of movement. Alright, let's come up to the lower body warm up, right? Okay, now let's move to body pump, one, 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 back pepper, plunge drill. So today we're covering body combat makes it three. First of the song. Yes, they use the same song for lunges and combat number one. So body combat is three. Track number two use the same song. So don't get confused. Two types of combo only and only, but lots of variation. So you will go up to the front stand all the way, and it's a very speedy track. It's a catchy song. So. You will go to 45, imagine there's target there. You go jab, cross, and a wee. Then you're facing the other side at 45 degrees. Go another jab, cross, and a wee. Remember on the wee, you stick the heels in and bend the knees. So it's like that. Imagine there's a string in here, and you have to go under it while keeping your guards up, right? All right, after that, we will add on two big roundhouse knees. So from that side, you go jab, cross, weave, and on two knees. Yes. So if you're still doing this, you better lean to 45. Slightly lift the heels first, and drop and pull. So you open up your hips. Yours is quite correct, but still you need to open up the hips more. Yes. So you're working on the side oblique. So you got double, weave, and two knees. To make it more difficult, they make it triple the jab. So, jab, cross, jab, weave, and two knees. Make sure every time you jab, I know it's a fast song, make sure it's all the way straight. You don't go like tiny punches. Yep, let's try. One, two, three. <laughs> you got it. Since the song is fast, they give two types of options. The first one is to stay on the two jab, knee, and the knee, or you can skip the knee. Yes, like that. So try the triple. One, two, three, skip the weave, and two knees. So that's your option. All right, that sums up the boxing part. So the leg part, this time this mix it with some capoeira. The tricky part to the song if you already tried this track before, usually we go to the jinga by pulling the left leg back first or just pulling out any leg back. But in this track, you will step the right leg or left leg first, step, then you pull it back and you switch to the other leg. So that sums up our track. Oh wait guys, we are not finished yet. We got one more variation to the jinga. So from easy jinga, we got a mix of a skater and a jinga. Like so you got yes. So you don't think about jumping high, but you go side to side by swinging the hands and also pressing the ground away. Really burns your legs and 
also keep your heart rate up. So the challenge is to go further than before, but jumping soft on the knees with a soft landing. Be careful, you almost fell into the pool. Alright, that sums up everything for strike number two. Yeah, I think it's done. Okay, let's turn it off. Alright, it's time for body combat. Yes, it's body combat. 83 check number. Three. Three, yes. Alright, your first power training. So it's this time to raise your heart rate and start the burn. So your target heart rate is 160 to 170 if possible. Alright, in this release, we got lots of combinations. So, to sum up, in the first place, you got four jabs and four body rips. So, the difference between a body rip and an uppercut, both is at 45 degrees. In body rip, you will lean slightly lower and hit the ribs instead. Alright, I think that's simple. So, from four at the top, you go down. So, imagine this and crunch it down. So, you got the first move. We will move to the front and back. So your combat stance, four, walking jab to the front. So four, three, two, one, front back. Easy run. So this is your first level. As the time goes by, you will lift the legs. For time. Yes. So legs and hand, they land together at the same time. Lean forward. So you go up and strike it down. So let's like four, three, two, one, then you run back with the high knees. Right? You will repeat this combination lots of times, so you better get used to the combo. Right? So the tricky part and the fun part of the track. Personally, it's quite boring for me. So, yes, not like this, but you got something like that. So two jabs, one step, and one lift. So you got it? So you open it to the side. No. Toes pointing down. Good. So one, two, and lift. It's like you're faking a punch, which you save at the end for the Superman punch. Alright, okay, let's try. So one, two, step, and lift. Now we add on the punch on the cross first. One, two, step, and punch. Yes. So the tricky part of this, after you Turn your elbow back, rotate your shoulder, then you have to twist long to the front. So your heel turn square to the front. Then you set it up for the Superman punch. You can try it first. So one, two, step, and Superman. No, no, you don't, you don't do, it's like the fountain one, you know? It's a different type one. So one, two, step, and Superman. The Superman punch, like in the previous release, on the leg, is like doing a small back kick. So from here, you do a small back kick. As you kick, you punch at the same time. So you stand. So this twist will generate power. If you're doing this, then... No, I won't be able to hit you. See, I won't even reach her. If I turn, then I can reach her. You got it? Alright, let's try again. Yes? Yeah, it is very hard. You need to practice a lot. So, one, two, step, and punch. Yeah. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> really raise your abs. Practice, my friend. All right, that sums up your first power training. Oh, body combat is great. Okay, let's go back. Body combat, fishing, practice. Hey, it's 2020 now. Why is body combat 62? Because it is your yeah, I know it's Yala, but it's not Yala. Hey, I mean it's still Yala, but a newer version of it. They use the same song again with a different remix. For Body Combat 83. Yeah, I don't even know this track anymore. By the way, that's in the li li lyrics of the song. All right. So that time they use it for track number six. This time on Body Combat 83, they use it for track four. So the movement, let's review. You go to the front stance, you got up, you got jab, jab, elbow. This time it's a circular elbow. Make sure your jab is straight before rushing through the elbow. 
Yes. So this time, in the front stance, it's easier for you to turn your shoulder. Really shaping if you really brace your hands. Yes. So for jab, jab, elbow. On the elbow, keep your guards up as well. Once you got it, we will add on a side kick. So let's try. One, two, and a side kick. So remember, on the side kick, extend your hands far to aim to your target first. Then you release the kick, retract, and drop. Then to the other side, one, two, elbow. Then you kick to the other side. Good. Make sure you retract your legs because we are staying in the center. You don't want to go away as some go. Alright? So you better stay at your place and keep your social distance. Alright, cool. Then after that we have uh, temporary kind of lower body conditioning. You got the lunges. Make sure your lunges, your hips are square to the front. Lift your chest, hands here or down. On the level two, you can try to touch the socks, but keep your chest up. The common mistake people do is they do this. They fall into the legs. Keep it high so you don't really damage your knee. Right? Cool? Next up, we got the double push. What kind of push is that? Yes. One with the hands and one with the leg. So one plyo push and one push kick with the front leg. Woo! Yes. Good. Cool. So after you got this, so one, two, as you switch leg, you will tuck down. Oh, it's quite challenging, right? Really lose the leg. So after the double push, you will drop down. I think that's all for the yala this time. It's not so hard like the one they used on track number six okay. last time. All right. So welcome to the panic line. There's no panic line. It's not panic line. Yeah, the song lyrics sounds like it's saying panic line, panic line. Yeah, we're panicking. But actually, the title of the song is Fuji Opener. I don't know how that relates, but that's the title of the song. But we call it panic line anyway. So welcome to a review on Body Combat 83, track number five. Your second hair painting. No. Yeah. It's a simple type of combo. So your combo, you go to the combat stance, so you go double jab, uppercut. So, one, two, three. So, your jab helps reload the uppercut. So from here, you reload and you drive between your clicks and the twist. After that, we got a new friend and his name is... Uh, yeah, his name is Bob. Okay, you try. Mix it with this friend. Yes, that's Bob. So you crunch, but keeping your guards up. It's Bob. But you don't do the squat, alright? So you're looking forward like a boxing. So you look cool. This doesn't look cool. Yes. You must have a cool face also. Just kidding. So let's try. So one, two, three, Bob down. And then we got a challenge. That's like your usual tech number five. We got the modified scroll. But it's kind of different. So you already jump on the squat. Then you go to the scroll. Let's try. Why? I'm a man girl. So? I'm a modified lady. I will go to the squat. Yes. There is an option for this uh, typical release. So instead of doing the combo, you can do the single squat like she's doing. But make sure your leg is in one line, front stance. Cool. So your hips are back, toes turn to the front, and you're good to go. So, the sprawl. You try. No, okay. I try. So first you jump on the squat, legs wide, press your palms, then you go here, back to the squat, and you jump high. So the first version is the jump, down and this and repeat. Now you're fun. You're fun. All right. You try now. Yeah. Okay. I should wash my hands. That sums up your track number five. It is time for. Yes. Track six. Body combat. Eighty three. It's a very dancey kind of song, it's sassy. But as 
like other track six, it's kind of a brain game. This one. So only two big combos. We won't uh, review from the beginning. But your first big combo is to shuffle to the front, head body back fist with a jump. What? Yes. So you shuffle one hand, one body, and jump with the back fist. Shuffle back, one back hit, and that's all. Then you switch to the other leg. Let's try. So shuffle forward, hand, body, back fist, shuffle back, go back kick, and you hold. Alright? That's your first combo. It's hard to remember. Yes, it's very hard to remember. So you really need your focus in this track. On the second level, why do you jump? If you got bigger opponent, then you need to reach higher than before. Yep. All right. So your second type of combo is what is it? Do you remember? We're moving yep. side to side. Yes, the walking jab. So two jabs to the side, one to the front, and one knee. You got it. So one, two, one. That sums up your track number six. What should we talk about now? Muay Thai. Muay Thai of Body Combat 83. Track seven. Yes, track number seven. It's a very repetitive song. So, only three types of combination we're mixing up over and over again. So, number one is the roundhouse knee. You go to the front stance. Yes. So, four roundhouse knees and you switch to the other side. So on the roundhouse knee, one thing to remember, you need to tilt your body to 45. If you're standing tall, you're only doing the normal knee. You're not working on the side obliques as much as the roundhouse knee. Remember to open the hips. Cool. Don't forget the hands as well. If you're doing it like this, you burn less calories. That's your first combo. The second one, you go to the combat stance. You got the double jab and one descending elbow. So easy with this, and then you will add on a front knee. That's the way. So one, one, two, and one knee. But if you want challenge, and the end of the track, you will get to be challenged by doing the jump knee. You try. One, one, two, and yes. Oops. Be careful on the way down. So stop landing. Remember, think about your legs. Feeling light, so one, one, two, and jump. Soft landing. Do not straighten your legs as you land. It's very dangerous. I think that's all for the second combination. The last combo is most people's favorite move in body combat. Yeah, because it releases all the emotion they have during the whole day, whether at school, work, or anything. It's no, it's not a freestyle. No, it's not freestyle. It's called the street brawl punch, but with control. Right? So you go to the latest position, one hand down, imagine holding someone's head, lift the elbow up, then you strike down. But this time we're adding a variation. So four times you hit, then one jump you add at the end. Yes. So, how to generate more power? By opening your body to the front and you drop it down. Yes. And as you jump, you open and you close as you land. So four, three, two, one, up and down. You got it? Fine. Remember, soft landing. Do not stomp. It's a soft landing. I will right. control your emotions. What do we have now? Last track. Last track, the track number 8 of Body Comment 83. It's a long song, you know. It's about 7 minutes. But the combo is easy, so don't worry. It's full of power packed movements. So you will start an easy track with simple small runs. Then you will begin with easy hook right, hook left with the front stance. Remember to keep slight bend on the knees. Yes. So remember your target is the jaw or the temple. So it hits hard, 90 degree angle, elbow higher than the shoulder. So once you got that, you will have four jabs and hook right, hook left. Yes, so extend the jab even though you're already tired from that crazy Muay Thai track. Yes, relax and execute. Then you have 
lots of run in the middle so easy dynamic recovery then after that we are introduced to something new actually we have this movement from a long time ago but they name it the flurry so the flurry is three fast consecutive uppercuts so from your combat stance you will have three uppercuts but you exaggerate the last one that's your usual uppercut but the last one you jump to the front that's the flurry let's try good yeah what do you mean cute flurry yeah it's flurry not make flurry <laughs> So, how do you execute this? So, lose your first, second, by the second, you release this one. So you <laughs> drive up for the third one. Yes, be careful, do not hit someone with that. So, you press with this, drive the heels and your hips to push to the front, like that. Then we will repeat that again with the jabs and the hooks. Oh yes, they also have this power hook. So from the floor, one and two. But you already know this from the previous release. So in the end, as always, you have lots of jab to finish and put your hands out. That's all. It's time for conditioning of Body Combat 83. It's a weird kind of song, to be honest. It keeps saying burning. Yes, it's true that we are burning fat, right? Hopefully. Alright, the first type of movement is a slow push-up. Yes, it's a push-up. Your favorite, so you demonstrate it. So, slow push-up first on the knees if you want. Then, you open up to one side. So, side over. Yes. Your option is you can do the side over on your knees instead. So, you switch side. Then, you will speed up later on. Alright, that's the first combo. The next combo you have a... It's a climber, but you do it diagonally. What is it called? Cross climber? Yes, a cross climber. So, okay, you do it again. So, one knee to the opposite hand. Yes, really good to shape your obliques and also your abs. Make sure your back is straight. At any time, your option is you can drop to the knees. Yeah, it's kind of difficult, yeah. so it's nice Hard. to do it on your toes if you can. All right. Then the rest of it, you lay down. I guess you don't want to demonstrate this one. So you get the up kick. It's nothing new. So you relax your hands to the side of your body. Then you up and heels up to kick it high. Then release and tap. If you can, you can lift the hips slightly up and slowly release. That's one thing. Then you got the cross climber. No, not the cross climber. <laughs> You're done with it. The cross crawl. Two crosses this time. So you go one, two, one, two. One, two, hold, hold. So that's your tempo. You got it? Three and three. So that sums up your conditioning check for Body Combat 83. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.